Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Card Valley Cooks. Today, we're gonna make some hot water cornbread and we're gonna make some chocolate pudding. I've got company coming, so the first thing I'm going to do is get our pudding mixed up while our water starts to boil, okay? So y'all just take a look at this. This is my granny's chocolate cream pie recipe and I use the microwave. And I'm going to mix it up right quick and then we're going to start our hot water cornbread. We're going to fry the cornbread while we're making the pudding, okay? So, for the pudding, all you do is you take a cup of sugar, I like to mix up my dry ingredients first. So company's coming in a few minutes, so we're going to make some pudding cups, okay? So there's a cup of sugar, and it calls for three uh, heaping tablespoons. No, it's two heaping tablespoons of cocoa. Well, let me, there's a heaping one. Let me put a little extra in. So it's two heaping tablespoons of cocoa. And then for the cornstarch, it's three tablespoons. Now, I won't be making meringue because Chris ain't here tonight. He is in Florida. Not Florida. I keep saying Florida. He's at our new house in St. Mary's. So, I'm cooking for company. My best friend's coming. So, there's three tablespoons of cornstarch. This is what I like about these tablespoons is you can dip it in cocoa on one side and cornstarch in the other and you don't get cocoa in your cornstarch. That's not saying. All right. So I whisk this together. So I whisk the cornstarch, the cocoa, and the sugar together. So easy, y'all. And then what I do is I take a can of milk. And since this is going to be pudding, I'm actually going to use all milk. Usually I mix it half and half. Today, I'll be using a cup of evaporated milk, okay? And sure, you can use a different form of cream if you want to, okay? Of course you can. Now we're gonna crack some eggs, and I'm not saving the whites for meringue today, so I'll just be discarding those and putting them to the side. Here's our eggs. So we're gonna crack three eggs and save the yellow only and the pudding. I'm going to dump this yellow into my cream over here, okay? And my dogs are out, so if you hear them bark, they're out running around. They've been scared ever since people started shooting fireworks. All right, so we're going to set this egg step to the side, and I'm going to go rinse my hands real quick, and then we're going to beat this up. of course. <laughs> so we got a cup of cream and three egg yellows going in. Now all you do is whisk it together really well. I add a dash of salt. I guess y'all can see pretty good. Let me zoom y'all in just a little bit. Remember, Chris is not here, my little cameraman. He's gone. We're going to put in a dash of salt. I don't know if somebody says they got the flu. All right, y'all, look. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this in the microwave. And while we're getting this in the microwave, I'm going to turn on my hot water kettle. And so we're about to make some hot water cornbread, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here and we're gonna put it in for uh, four minutes. Uh-oh, I messed it up. Four minutes, okay? And now we've turned on our hot water uh, for our cornbread. Now, I'm not heating up a lot of hot water because we're not going to make a heck of a lot of cornbread, okay? So while that's getting warm, uh, I'm going to throw this stuff in the sink right here, put this stuff up in the pantry, and then we're going to start the hot water. Well, I guess I can just put this to the side since y'all were waiting on me today. 
Why not? And I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to put in. Cornbread's easy. When you do hot water cornbread, it's special. Okay? All I'm going to be using today. Let me make sure I got this zoomed. I do. Okay. All I'm going to be using today is an iron skillet. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay. And yes, this kind of comes up around my skillet. I got a bowl. Now, in the South, we use more cornmeal mix than we do cornmeal. Now, I'm not talking about sweet cornmeal mix like Jiffy that comes in a little bitty package box. I'm talking about a five pound bag of buttermilk cornmeal mix is what I like. White Lily, you can buy Aunt Mama, and you can buy Martha White. They all make a buttermilk cornmeal mix. We're just going to do a half recipe because it's just the ladies tonight. It's a ladies party tonight. So I'm going to put in one cup. This cornmeal mix, this cornmeal already has a little flour in it. Of course, the baking soda and stuff. But no sugar, okay? And when you're making hot water cornbread, you're not going to want to put an egg in there or it'll scramble it, won't it? So I'm going to add some pepper just to make it good. All right. Now, once our water is boiling, we're going to pour it over that. And by the time that's done, this is going to be preheated and I can add my oil. And I'm also going to put in some butter. Why? Because it tastes like cornbread soaked in butter. That's why. Because it's delicious. You can't use all butter. It'll burn it. So I'm going to mix the two together a little bit to make it double delicious. All right. I'm going to let y'all see my kettle. Real quick, it's a boiling, so we're about to make that hot water cornbread. How'd y'all like that? All right, let's hop back over here and watch this stuff. I want you to see this up close when I pour in this hot water. Now, I know the quality goes down a little bit when I zoom y'all, but it's still fun, ain't it? It's hard to get the view right, y'all, when my husband ain't here no more. All right, so here we go. All you're going to do, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to add enough hot water to uh, wet it good. And I'm going to stir it up. Put a little bit more hot water in here. It's a little bit too dry. All right. So I actually want it to puff. I'll get it right in a minute, y'all. I want it, I don't want it to be like pasty because then your cornbread won't be nice and fluffy and good. It'll be more like, you know, dense. I mean, who wants a dense hush puppy, right? I don't like them. Some people do. They act like they're delicious, but I sure don't like them. I like for my hush puppy mix to be a little bit wet. And so that's the way I want my hot water cornbread to be too. It's just soaking up that water, ain't it, y'all? So get it pretty wet, you know, don't, no, it's like some people say their mother rolled it up in a ball, which I guess you could, but it had to be pretty dry to do that, and um, I want mine to be a little wetter. All right, so here we go, y'all ready? Let's start this up. I'm going to bring y'all down just a little bit so y'all can see better, because I'm nice like that. Now, whoo, that thing's 
Oh, now you like it. We're gonna put some oil in there. Yeah, I put some oil in it. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I'm by myself today. Okay. I won't put this whole half stick in there to make it delicious. She says, do you put flour in the mix? I don't have to. I buy a corn meal, uh, white lily corn meal mix that's already got flour in it. No, I don't add extra. Or it wouldn't be corn bready enough for me. Okay? So we're going to let this butter melt right quick. And while that butter is melting, we're going to mix up our pudding. never hurt my cooking it always tastes good so there we go now while those start to get brown of course you want them to get good and done y'all you don't want them half done we're gonna add some butter to this chocolate pudding and mix it up while those are cooking I'm gonna go ahead and put in a half stick to make it delish okay And let me go rinse this corn meal off of me. Let's let that butter melt down in there and then we're going to whisk it. Now that's going to be enough cornbread for us women because there ain't that many of us. you want it to be done you don't want it to be raw there's nothing like getting the hush puppy that's raw in the middle it's gross so we don't want that to happen with this either okay now let's mix up our pudding see our pudding see how fast that was fast dessert and then I've got some uh, whipping cream that's just in a can that you just squirt out you know and we'll serve it on the top of this pudding. I'm going to put these pudding cups outside on the porch because, yes, it don't bother me to put some outside. I ain't afraid the birds are going to poop in it or nothing. Yummy. So we're going to flip these. Hot water cornbread, but the good thing about it, it is buttermilk cornmeal mix, so it'll have a little bit of a buttermilk taste. And we put plenty of black pepper in it, which will make it yummy as well. And now you can do anything with this, just like you would a hush puppy. You could put some onion in it, you could put some pepper in it, you could put some jalapenos in it. I mean, just spruce it up. I'm sure they didn't back in the day. The reason they used hot water, I guess, is because they didn't have nothing else, but you know, you would think that it had a cow, and if they had a cow, you'd think that it had milk, and if they had milk, you'd think that it had butter, right? 
But, you know, who knows? I didn't live back then, so I don't know. I know my granny never made this, ever, when I was growing up. Granny got up every day, every day, and she made a pone of cornbread in an iron skillet like this, and she made a pan of biscuits every single day in the morning when she was doing breakfast. And so we always had bread uh, in the house. I'm going to turn my potatoes back up because i got to cream them, but y'all don't have to watch me do that. We're going to get these out, but I'm going to let them get good and done first. And um, I'm going to see if i got any graham cracker in my... I let this get a little bit lumpy. I'm going to let y'all see it up close in a minute. But it's because I cooked it straight through and I didn't set the timer for two minutes, stir it, and then set the timer again. But it's still going to be tasty. So, as soon as I hop, get these out of here, let me grab me some paper towels. My roll of paper towels just ran out. All right. So we're gonna get these out of here. I'm gonna show you how pretty they are, and then we're gonna make our little pudding cups. Yep, it's homemade pudding, just like Granny made on the stove when she made a chocolate pie. That's all it is. Yummy. I've got collards made. I've got Texas hash. I've got a ham in the oven. I've got. I'm gonna have cream potatoes. I've got big butter beans. I did butter beans today instead of black eyed peas. For a change. I hope it don't hurt my uh, luck or whatever it's supposed to be. Daddy always said change was money. Uh, the like I peas were change and that the um, I'm gonna I'm gonna break one of these and let y'all see it on the inside. It's full of butter and grease. That's what makes it taste so good, y'all. Yummy. Because we sure didn't let them soak in any non-hot oil did we it's hot hot now let's do our putty cups and we're gonna be done for the day um and i'm gonna sign off and i'm gonna have a good meal with my company today poor chris is missing out he he went fishing but i don't know them fish can't kiss him and them fish can't feed him can they y'all <laughs> all right here we go I got me some graham crackers. I'm gonna grab the ones that don't have cinnamon on them out of this right quick. This is plain graham crackers. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crush them while they're in this right quick on the table. As I'm making a mess. So just crush them up. You don't have to buy them all crunched up in a box and pay more for them. Just use your fingers, right? And your hands. See, that's all you got to do right there. Let me open it. I cut my finger yesterday. Not too bad, but I did, like a ding dong. I'm always doing something goofy. All right, I'm going to let y'all watch up close a little more. Not that close. Okay, let me back y'all up a little. All right, so we're just gonna put these in the bottom. And I was missing one. I only have four uh, pudding cups and there's five of us tonight. So somebody gets a little uh, glass. I'm trying to get in the view for y'all. Love to be. All right, there you go. Here's our pudding. Now, if it gets a little bit too thick for your liking, you can always add a little milk to it. I'm going to try to turn it around and pour it so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me give me something. Y'all 
Now my potatoes are boiling. Y'all don't cream your potatoes unless they're boiling. Because if you let them get lukewarm and cream them, they get sticky. All right, there you go. Pudding. What? Homemade pudding with evaporated milk. All that is is chocolate pie like your granny made on the stove. That's all that is. It's in my first volume cookbook under granny's chocolate pie. So if you want to know how to make it, that's all you got to do. You can have homemade pudding made uh, almost as fast as mixed, you know, the instant stuff. If you'll just put it in the microwave in a bowl and whip it up. That's going to be a good dessert, y'all. Now that looks like a lady dessert, don't it? And then we'll squirt out a little bit of creams on the top. I'm going to put these out on the ledge, out on the porch. Because it's cold outside today. And they're going to get ready. All right, let me zoom back out for y'all. I am going to taste this pudding. Tell y'all how yummy it is. And I'm going to taste this hot water cornbread. Then I'm going to heat up my collards and my friend's going to be here. i got to cream the potatoes. Let me put my head in front of that light. That's so good with all that pepper in there. Y'all, just make sure. If you want yours a little drier, don't put as much water in it. It's not that big of a deal. Make sure you cook it. And you don't just throw it in there and get it too brown too fast on high heat. And take it out, okay? Make sure it's down on the medium. So that it can get golden brown. And be delish. And to tell you the truth, I got mine just a little bit too wet. But it's still delicious. I guarantee you company's going to like it. Oh, let's try the pudding. Good stuff. Good stuff with collard greens, for sure. Now give me a spoon. Why, it smells so good in here. My dogs come in here and started eating their dog food. <laughs> All right, here's my chocolate pudding I made in just a flash. Let y'all see it. You know what? That's in memory of my mama. My mama never ate anything without getting it on her. And I miss her. This is our... First holiday without Mama, our first, her birthday's on the third, so I'll be thinking about her. But you know what? She's up there with Jesus, so I'm happy. I hope y'all have a wonderful New Year. Thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did, for real. And you might see me bare footage. You might see me without my makeup, and you might even see me with my moo moo on. And then some days I get all dolled up. I'm excited for the New Year coming up. And I will be coming out with a third cookbook. I hope y'all have a blessed new year. Remember to say your prayers. Love ya. Bye.